All right, Michael, so what are we doing? Yo, we out here, we catching some Pokemon. We have Michael Gallegos, the Pokemon master, first gym leader of two gyms, boys. Current gym leader of one, because some faggot on blue, I mean, uh, on yellow, took over the blue gym. So we're gonna go, is that it? So we're gonna go to this gym over here. We're gonna back up our boys in blue. They got a 457 Tenny Cruel on it that we're gonna go help out. And we're gonna catch some Pokemon. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a gym here or what? No one who goes to law school is ever gonna. Any Pokemon yet, Michael? I don't know. I'm just loading the app right now. Just a really. There's a gym, Michael. Seeing as how I am the most leveled up into Pokemon Go so far, I will be the one to put a Pokemon down on our gym and back up our boys in blue. Blue team is the master race. What do we have here? Looks like we have a mainframe of some sort. Need to hack into it. It looks like it's got at least a 400 core CPU. Looks like it's got 12 GTX Titan Zs. I'm gonna create a well, GUI interface line. using Visual Basic to track the killer's IP address. Well, I've got some nice L3 cache right there. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna GUI all over this thing. Nice GE. <laughs> that's, that's how we're gonna put our trash in here. I don't really have to do much of the work this time. Just as important. Oh, there's a McDonald's oh, cup in there. Lots of ash. I was gonna create a GUI. But, you know, no. I was going to create a real gooey. So, as you can see here, I'm a trained astrophysicist engineer, and we're going to hack into this right now. So, I mean, I started trying to fly. Obviously, Daniel inspired me. I picked up that book, and here I am. Still don't have my flyer's license, or really I've ever gone to a class, but I was inspired. And isn't that really what matters in the grand scheme of things? And I just want to give special thanks to the government for this public library, because without these publicly funded books, I wouldn't have learned how to want to fly. So, thank you. Trump 2016. Is that duck flying? Look, it's flying, because it's not touching the ground. It's a real duck, and it's flying right there. Now, if that isn't science, I don't know what is. But my sister's gonna ask me, what is science? The author of There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom. <laughs> no comment. No comment, it's just too good. There's a boy in the girl's bathroom. A testament to the transgender movement. Thank you, Louis. Louis, <laughs> <laughs> making the world a better place. I mean, they don't. <laughs> Why is this a thing? By the author of "There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom." <laughs> Lewis something, Schaefer. Lewis Schaefer. Mm -hmm. So I just got my library card re-renewed. It's free, guys. Thanks, government. But um, on, on the plus side, they have the whole Criterion collection for free, which is awesome, because I don't feel like buying the Criterion collection, because it's like $4,000 worth of movies. Oh, yeah. What's happening with uh, Rowell? Is he... No, he has a digital permit. Should taxes be spent on public libraries? What? It's an open-ended question, really. Guys, there's a rye horn. Yeah. Look, oh, a rye horn. A rye horn and a funny. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Forget what I just said. This public library is awesome. Thanks, government. Sounds like farts. Oh, There's a funny one step away. Yeah. I already got the pony to see. It's up to you, dude. If you're ready to... If you have enough battery...
proof that Iran funds the Hillary campaign. actually um, Anne Frank. Uh, she didn't die and uh, she was actually turned into a prostitute who had to wear some very nice uh, dazzling dresses for Hitler. Already a prostitute. Can you explain this? Oh, explain this. Uh, God is in the Pancakes is uh, it's a book about a new religion uh, called Pancakeianism uh, and basically it just believes that when you create a pancake you yourself are becoming God of a universe. And when you flip it over, you're destroying the universe. So uh, there are some Pancakeians who decide that you should never flip a pancake because you're destroying the universe, and you should never eat a pancake because you're killing the universe. But uh, if you don't flip it over, the pancake ends up uneven, so you're kind of ruining the whole lifespan of a pancake. And it's like, it's like, what's the point of even making the pancake? So it's like, there's a beginning and an end of every pancake, and some people just believe that there only needs to be a beginning, whereas most Pancakeians and most Pancakeists, like myself, uh, decide that it is their duty as the god of that pancake to flip that pancake over and eat it, because that is the beginning and the end of the cycle of the pancake universe. Um, and really it's evidenced in science as well that our universe is in fact pancake-shaped. So, checkmate atheists. So you're saying the world is flat? Yes. The universe is flat. It's yeah. just one corporeal plane. Thank you. You're welcome. Michael, what's your opinion on this? But you don't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Josh, what's your opinion on this? Hot. Hot. Old. Kinda hot. And, um, smoking. I can't not disagree, so... I don't disagree. Just look at that. Look at that. I encourage <laughs> the beautiful tender green innards. Just the aesthetic design. So beautiful. I don't like work. Works hard. Do we do things because they're easy or because they're hard, but Because they're easy. I only do things when they're easy. I go to the moon because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm hard. Michael's never been to the moon. Oh, well, Michael's I been to the moon I played that game before. to the moon before. It was a great uh, visual novel. Lots of fun. Uh, great, intriguing story. I was hooked. I played it for a whole three hours. It had some good puzzles. It was a good game overall. Rick. Hashtag 2016 game reviews. <laughs> Actually, it's like a, I think it's like a 2013 game, but the new sequel that should be coming out this year and next year, Finding Paradise, go check it out on Steam. Should be like $5, maybe 10 Hey, what about gypsies? Do you think death is inevitable, Luke? Um, not inevitable, but highly likely. Probably like 94% chance that it'll happen to at least me. Uh... It'll probably happen to a lot more people than just me, though. Joshua? Yes? Can I help you? I was just exploring that trail. Found a oddish. Luke is advocating for your murder. Well, with all due respect. They figured out how to make it use battery instead of data. Looks fucking retarded. So, I guess my question is. Should we allow retarded people to do anything of any importance in our society? No. Now, I may disagree with Woodrow Wilson's economic and social policies, but the man was brilliant when it came to eugenics. As governor of New Jersey, he passed a law that said that all people who are disabled should be sterilized for having kids. <laughs> and 
While at first even myself may laugh at something as such a notion, I think it's really beautiful. Look at him. Should that be allowed to promulgate and have offspring, or even make any fundamental decision whatsoever? Buy a house, pump gas? No. So, I guess my response to that is, who freaking asked? So, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go hunt for some more Pokemon.